Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I want to go ahead and shout out Jamal Lewis. Jamal was one of the first ones to send me this story and it's an update about the whole John Crawford situation. So as you guys all know, I covered this story intensely when it all went down back in 2014. John Crawford III was a 22 year old young man who was shot dead inside Walmart. A 911 caller who was later identified as Ronald T. Ritchie, he called 911 and he told them that John Crawford was in Walmart, he was waving around a gun, you know what I'm saying, he was threatening customers, he was pointing the gun at them. When the police arrived, they saw John Crawford, he had a toy gun in his hand, they didn't even ask him any questions, they literally just blew him away in the Walmart. The sound from him being shot was so loud that it scared another shopper in Walmart. She also died and lost her life as well when she went into cardiac arrest. So not only was one person killed by the police, but a second person was killed because of this entire situation, okay? Now it's come out as of yesterday that the judge and prosecutor want to charge Ronald T. Ritchie for making a false 911 call. And I said this years ago that I felt that he should have always been charged because everything he said in that 911 tape did not add up. It made no sense whatsoever. And so now they're looking to charge him. But get this, he can only face the maximum of six months in jail and a thousand dollar fine. So he's really not gonna do any time for this at all whatsoever. On first daddy love that man who called 911 back on the night of the deadly shooting inside the Beaver Creek Walmart, well, he could now face charges. A Fairborn judge has ruled there is probable cause to prosecute Ronald Ritchie for his role the night John Crawford III was shot and killed by two Beaver Creek officers. To news reporter Robert Lowry, he's been digging into the judge's ruling and joins us now with the new details. Well, Mark and Katie, this all started after nine people filed affidavits with a judge asking for prosecution against Ronald Ritchie for things like reckless homicide, involuntary manslaughter, and inciting violence. Well, that judge came back and ruled against uh, several of those listings on the affidavit, but she did say that there is probable cause against Ritchie for creating a false alarm. The attorney for John Crawford III's family says while a judge's ruling offers some comfort, Richie wasn't the one who pulled the trigger. Ultimately, we believe that it was the police department's responsibility to come and assess the situation. There's a uh, gentleman walking around with a gun in the store. Is he got it pulled out? Yeah, he's like pointing at people. Richie was the only person to call 911 the night Crawford was seen carrying around what we now know was a BB gun picked up from a store shelf. Shortly after the call, Crawford was shot and killed by two Beaver Creek police officers. Angela Williams also died after collapsing in the store trying to get her kids to safety. A month later, while a Green County grand jury was deciding the fate of the two officers involved, I sat down with University of Dayton law professor Tom Hagel to ask if it was possible Richie could also face charges. Can they look at that 911 caller or is it just strictly to the two officers? Oh no, I mean um, whatever those facts uh, uncover uh, can lead to a uh, indictment of somebody else uh, other than those two officers. The grand jury eventually chose not to indict anyone involved. More than a year after that decision however, Crawford's family attorney says they are happy to see people taking up their cause. We are thankful that the community is still behind this family, still supporting this family, and still trying to seek justice for the Crawford family. And at this point, no charges have been filed against Richie. That would be left up for the Fairborn prosecutor or a Greene County prosecutor to decide. We did attempt to reach out to Ronald Ritchie for his response on this story, but our calls went unanswered or phones were disconnected. Reporting live in Beaver Creek, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you. This man literally lost his life for carrying an unloaded airsoft gun. But what's even more tragic with this case is not only about John Crawford losing his life and this innocent woman losing her life. Um, if you guys remember, about six months after his death, his girlfriend ended up dying in a mysterious crash. Um, his girlfriend's name was Tasha Thomas, and before her death, um, her and her lawyer had basically put out audio, had basically put out video of the police interrogating her and going off on her and basically saying that, you know what, we know that he had a gun, you knew that he had a gun, and she saying, you know, I didn't know anything, he went in there to go buy some s'mores, he did not have a gun. The police were going off on her, and she was getting ready to sue the entire police department, and plus they were also getting ready to stage a bunch of sit-ins at that Walmart, and then 
mysteriously at 2 o'clock in the morning on New Year's Eve through a residential neighborhood. Her and her best friend were doing 100 miles per hour and they crashed into a tree. A lot of folks feel like her car was rigged and that the police maybe did that to silence her. You lied to me and you might be on your way to jail. So I want to be very clear about this. I swear to God. So he got in the car, he had a white bag, he never made any noise about doing anything to his ex or anything like no, that. Sir. Was she in the store? No, sir. She was in Cincinnati to my understanding. Okay. I don't know all the details I'm gonna find out. All right. Please. But my first step is to talk to you and you were with him. You were with him just moments before this happened. You you need to tell me the truth. I am. I am I swear to God. Oh my god. comment that he was going to go shoot her or anything like that? No. No. Why, why would he have a gun in the store? I don't know. Is he not a carry a gun? Not that I never know. Don't tell me not that you know because that's the first thing that, that I realize somebody's not telling me the truth and they say that kind of stuff. I've never known him to. Did he ever make a comment carry a gun? No. Be truthful with him. Honestly, no. I just spent the night at his house with his mom. He's living at his mother's house. At that address, I just give you. Mm -hmm. And you know, ask his mom. They should be at the hospital by now. His mom and his uh, His mom wasn't with him. You were. That's why you're here. Well, no, I'm just saying. Okay. Last night. Is, okay. I, I, I want to know what you know. And you are very close to this man, and that's why you know what's going on, and, and you need to be truthful with me, because this might be your last chance. I'm not going to take another statement to, to, to let you recant it. If you knew he had a gun, even though you maybe were, you know, didn't say anything to him, or you did say something to him, hey, it's not a good idea to be carrying that, tell me, okay? Sir, I swear to God, I didn't know. I swear to God, I'm going to get in your eyes. I didn't know. I swear to God, if I wouldn't know. We know more about the two people who were killed. The woman was Tasha Thomas. If that name sounds familiar, it's because she was the girlfriend of John Crawford III. The man Beaver Creek police shot and killed outside the Walmart there. Our Elise Coulter is live in Dayton with what she's found. Elise? Dayton police are still trying to figure out exactly what caused the crash, but I did speak to Tasha's mom off camera earlier. She told me that Tasha was getting a ride to her car and that she had got the call about the accident a couple hours after the accident actually happened. But witnesses we spoke to say it almost seemed unreal. Oh, ran into a pole, overturned. No accident. 911 calls poured in. Moments after neighbors heard the crash. It just sounded like a big bang and a ton of metal just tumbling down the street. This was the scene yesterday afternoon. When I looked out, I seen two bodies laying and I really didn't want to see no more. Neighbors couldn't believe what they saw. I really didn't know what to say. It's the, it's the first day of the year. And you just see two dead bodies. That's not good. Police say Tasha Thomas was in the car with Frederick Bailey, a friend. Officers say they were speeding down North Broadway when the car crashed. Neither of them was wearing a seatbelt. It's a shocker. I mean, I don't know what to say. But it's just a shocker. Thomas was the girlfriend of John Crawford III. Crawford was shot and killed by police inside the Beaver Creek Walmart in August. He was holding an air rifle that he got off the store shelf when officers shot him. Thomas had spoken out about the incident from the beginning. We most recently spoke to her two weeks ago after this video of Beaver Creek detectives interviewing her after the shooting was released. Neighbors today were shocked to learn who was killed in this crash. I still can't believe none of this really happened. And I'm just a lost of words right now. I am sorry. My prayers go out to y'all. Oh, I just pray for them. I'm told Tasha leaves behind three young kids. Again, police are still investigating. However, they did say that alcohol could be a factor for now. Well,
lot of crazy things surrounding this case, but I do find it crazy that now they're ready to prosecute this man who can only face a maximum of six months in prison, but there's no prosecution of the trigger happy cops who didn't even ask John Crawford any questions. They literally came in there and blew this man away. So this entire update is just really, really disturbing. I want to go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Do you agree with Mr. Ritchie being charged, possibly facing six months in prison, but yet and still the police officers who shot and killed John Crawford in cold blood, they didn't face one day in jail. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.